Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I've been waiting for you. And hello as well to all my grandchildren. Max, the oldest, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. And all my grandchildren love stories as well. Girls and boys, this is a book that I wrote. I'm the author. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. This is for your moms and dads to read. And they can get it from amazonbooks.com. It will tell them all the things that I learned in my 50 years of teaching in the classroom. And it will help them to help you at home. Just like a recipe book. Recipes tried and true. So they don't have to reinvent the wheel. All right, so now girls and boys, today is a special day because I'm going to read you the most famous, the most popular fairy tale of all. This is the favorite of most little girls and boys, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. And I'm reading from a book called First Readers which means that if you are in grade one, you should be able to read this as well. So maybe you can follow along with me and you can have a read as well. Are you ready? Oh, there's Goldilocks. We know what's going to happen to her. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were three bears. They lived in a little house in a big wood. Hope you can see the words and you're following along. There was a great big daddy bear. Then there was a middle-sized mummy bear. And there was a tiny little baby bear. One day, mummy bear made porridge. She put some in a great big bowl. She put some in a middle-sized bowl. And she put some in a tiny little bowl. The porridge was too hot to eat. The three bears went for a walk while it cooled down. Not far away, a little girl was also walking in the big wood. The little girl had golden hair. She was called Goldilocks. Soon Goldilocks found the house of the three bears. The door was wide open. Goldilocks walked right into the house. She saw the bowls of porridge. She tasted some from the great big bowl. Oh, it was too salty. She tasted some from the middle-sized bowl. It was too sweet. She tasted some from the tiny little bowl. Oh, it was just right. Goldilocks ate it all up. Mmm. Then Goldilocks saw three chairs. She sat in the great big chair. Oh, it was too high. She sat in the middle sized chair. It was too low. She sat in the tiny little chair. It was just right. Crack! Oh no! It wasn't. Goldilocks was too heavy and the tiny little chair broke into pieces. Next, Goldilocks went upstairs. She lay on the great big bed. It was too hard. She lay on the middle-sized bed. It was too soft. She lay on the tiny little bed. It was just right. And Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Soon the three bears came home. Who's been eating my porridge? Asked Daddy Bear in his great big voice. Who's been eating my porridge? 
asked Mummy Bear in her middle-sized voice. Who's been eating my porridge and eaten it all up? asked Baby Bear in a tiny little voice. Then the three bears saw their chairs. Who's been sitting in my chair? asked Daddy Bear in a great big voice. Who's been sitting in my chair? asked Mummy Bear in a middle-sized voice. And who's been sitting in my chair and broken it? asked the baby bear in a tiny little voice. Then the three bears went upstairs. Who's been sleeping in my bed? asked Daddy Bear in a great big voice. Who's been sleeping in my bed? asked Mummy Bear in a middle-sized voice. Who's been sleeping in my bed? asked Baby Bear in a tiny little voice. And she's still here. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. And when she saw the three bears, she was scared. Goldilocks jumped up and she rushed down the stairs. And then she ran out of the house. The three bears did not see Goldilocks ever again. Well, that's interesting. Girls and boys, the endings of many of the stories of Goldilocks and the three bears can be different. Some endings have her jumping out of the window, which wouldn't be very safe, would it? And we always have to wonder, was Goldilocks good or was she bad? And we all have different opinions on that too. Did she knock at the door first before she went in? Lots of things to think about. Well, that was our favorite story. And whenever you read it, it might be a different version. And that's okay too. It's fun to hear different versions of the same story. Well, girls and boys, I'm glad you joined me today, and I hope you'll come back again for Read Me a Story. Bye-bye.